Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna play pay tribute, pay homage to my man Biz Markey. I met Biz around 1981, 82, Jamaica Queens. And uh, what was funny about Biz, this particular place where we used to meet was like a bus depot. So all the kids from different high schools would be bused into this one particular area, and Biz knew that. So he would have battles inside the mall, which we called the Coliseum. So every day, Biz would be battling somebody. So one day, I just happened to be in that mall. And I was like, today, I'm going to battle Biz. And uh, I battle Biz, and we've been friends ever since. And uh, I would say through all his success, my success, he's always been the same. Humble, always picked up on the first call, always picked up. Nah, I'm too busy, I'm on tour. No matter what he was doing, he picked up the phone, gave me advice. I mean, this is throughout the year, so uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really hurt that uh, my brother's no longer with us. Um, also, you know, I wanna give a special dedication to Kid Lucky. Uh, I started... <laughs> I started beatboxing underground and Kid Lucky came and took that torch and did a lot of things for the underground. Um, but yeah, back to my man Biz, man. You know, the a one, two, a one, two, a one, two, a one, two. I like to introduce myself. My name is Biz Markie. Everybody, everybody did that Biz routine, right? Hold on to this, yo, cross, hold this belt real quick. So, yo. Now, I've always been a perfectionist, right? And everybody know Biz for all night. So the, the running joke with me and Biz, I was like, listen, I'm not banging on my neck. I was like, listen, give me a couple of weeks and I'm gonna come back with that same sound without banging on my neck. <laughs> so, it took a little longer than a couple of weeks. So when I finally seen Biz, I was like, I figured it out without banging on my neck, Biz. Okay, Rob, let me hear something. Let me hear it then. I say, okay, tell me what you think about this. Money, 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 money. So, Biz has always been, without him even knowing it, like, he's always been the person that kind of pushed me from afar, because I always looked at him like the blueprint, like with all beatboxes, I look at Fat Boys, Dougie Fresh, Biz Markey as the blueprint, Ready Rock C, as the blueprint, because they showed you how to be successful at what they were doing with the beatbox. So everyone that came here tonight, inspiring beatboxers, whether champions or not, keep pushing, keep elevating yourself. Another thing that I learned about Biz, simplicity. Don't, don't, don't go overboard. Just like, you, you got what I need. It's not an opera singer. But he made, everybody tried to turn him down for that record too. Nobody wanted to play that record, but he knew something that resonated with the people, and that's what I mean by simplicity. As long as it resonate with the people, and as you can see, Biz was for the people. 
As long as I known him, everybody loved Biz. You feel me? That, that was my buddy. That was my buddy. I don't, I don't mean to be long-winded or anything like that, but, you know, this is, uh, this is really humbling for me to be able to do this for Biz, you know? And um, a lot of you younger guys, please do your, do your history. Please do your history. It will change the way you view what you do. Right? Now, I'm going to give you a little lesson. Because no matter what I've done for the culture, what I've done for beatboxing, I've always been a student of the game. Right? So if you want to search the origins of beatboxing or vocal percussion, we can go back into the 70s. We can go further back, but let's just take it to the 70s. When you get an opportunity, Please Google Al Jarreau. This is 1975, 1976. Please Google Bobby McFerrin. Please Google Zap Mama. Please. Please Google Take Six. If you don't know about Bismarcky, please Google Bismarcky. That was my man, he was, listen. If you ever had a friend, like we didn't speak every day, but when we did speak, it was like we spoke yesterday. If you ever have a friend like that, hold on dear, because time is short and you don't get friends like that in a lifetime. All right, so, um, I'm gonna end that there before I start crying. You know, yeah. Yeah. So before I get out of here, uh, sound man, can I get a little, get a little bit more on the volume, please? A little bit more on the volume, there you go. Can I get some low end, please? A little bit more on the bass. This is for my man Biz. His name, the Biz. His name, the Biz. The B, the A, the Z, the Biz. Nobody beats the biz. Now, before I step off stage, I would like to bring the wonderful wife of Biz Marky e on stage to present the Lifetime Achievement Award. Now, I want y'all to start singing. Make the music sick. Make the music sick, make the music with your mind. Yeah. Thank you, Rosel. Damn, it feels good to see people up on it. 
I am so touched. I'm telling you, when I got this phone call that Biz was going to be honored, I stopped everything. I said, yes, I will be here. Biz would be here. He would be battling everybody in this room. <laughs> he always had so much fun, right, Roselle? Always. You know, and ah, I'm, I'm, I'm so touched. I'm having such a good time. Uh, instead of a, a speech, I'm just going to say a, a, a story. You know, my sister, she had a baby, you know, like a couple of years ago, four years ago. And Biz and I watched the baby from six days old, you know, until she was about nine months. And every day, Biz would be beatboxing with the baby. Constantly, constantly. So my sister, one day, she was like, oh, no, Tara, I think something's wrong, you know, with Grace. And I was like, well, what are you talking about? Because I didn't tell her what we were doing when we were babysitting with the baby. And I said, why? She was just like, I don't know. You know, she keeps doing these raspberries, and I can't get enough napkins under her, you know, neck, and she's spitting, and I got to call a doctor. And I was cracking up. But what was going on was Biz was beatboxing with the baby every day. And then she started beatboxing back. She couldn't even walk. She was in a walker. I, like, you guys have to go to my Instagram. I'm going to post that just because I told you that story. Just so you can see this little five-month-old baby, you know, boots, cats, boots, boots, cats. You know, and just, you know, just really simple things. Okay. Please. <laughs> you guys are so talented, and um, I'm just honored to be here with you all. And Biz would say to each and every one of you guys, keep going for your dreams. Keep, you know, spitting. Keep having a good time with it. And I'm just going to leave it right there. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for keeping Biz's legacy alive. Rizelle, you know Biz loved you so much. And I wish you guys could have gone on tour just like these guys are battling with each other because this is entertaining. Thank you so much. <laughs> Come on, clap it up, clap it up. Let's go. Nobody beats the Biz.